I went to see Jurassic World over the weekend and I've been looking forward to this movie for months. I was afraid that I was going to be disappointed in some way, but I wasn't by the movie. However, the audience is another fucking story. All I wanted was a nice date night with my wife to go see a movie that I've been looking forward to. It's all that I wanted. So we got there early, first ones in line, found the best seats in the house, which for me is next to the back row center. As I'm settling in to watch the movie, the audience starts to fill in around us. Little did I know that they would make this one of the worst movie experiences I have ever fucking had. So as they start to filter in, to the left and right of me sit two people who use their phone throughout the damn movie and interrupt the experience. In front of me is a couple of teenage boys on dates with girls who don't even fucking know where they are. Oh my god, Becky, are we at the movies? Oh my, are we at the movies? Yeah, fucking dumbasses. And then behind me comes a man and a woman who bring their two little children, eight and six years old, aww, to a PG-13 movie on a Friday night. Thank you for ruining it for everyone else. The movie starts and you hear the beautiful score of John Williams. Well, at least I think you do, because the jackass beside me to my left takes a phone call two minutes into the movie. Literally two fucking minutes into the movie! Apparently she forgot to call her handler and let them know that she was going to be at the movies and then proceeds to have a five minute conversation about it. The only reason she put up her fucking phone is because I looked over at her like I was going to rip her heart out and feed it to her. Anyway, the movie continues and we get to Chris Pratt's character who plays Star-Lord, I think. I would have got his name, but that's about the time that the eight year old behind me decided to ask for a toy. Repeatedly for a toy. Pratt did a pretty good job in this movie. He provided a character that was both serious and funny and comes off extremely charming. At this point, we've reached one of the first action scenes in the movie. And right as things just start to ramp up, the jackass to my right takes a phone call. He spends the next 10 minutes going, yeah, uh-huh, no, it's cool. Yeah, no problem. Uh-huh, yeah. Talking through the entire scene, apparently about something that was so important he could only give one word answers to. The movie provided some nice shout outs to the other movies in the franchise. However, I missed most of the subtle jokes because of the idiots around me. At this point, my wife leaned over and asked me was I okay because she could tell I was getting really pissed off. I looked back at her said in a loud voice so everyone could hear me, I really wish everyone would just shut the hell up. And you know what? It worked. For about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, everyone actually shut the fuck up. As we approached the end of the movie, however, and got to that final action sequence where we're gonna wrap everything up, everyone around me started talking at the exact same fucking time. I'm not joking with you, seriously. It was like in a harmonious chorus, just an uprising of nee -nee 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 the whole damn time. I finished the movie, I think, because the credits started rolling. I'm really not sure. I'd like to tell you my five favorite scenes from the movie, but since I missed most of it, I think I'd rather tell you the five stupidest fucking things uttered during this movie by the audience. Number five was the guy to the right of me who said, oh no, I'm not busy, as he's watching a fucking movie. Who fucking does that? Number four is one of the little kids behind me who decided to ask when he was going to grandma's house. Why aren't we at grandma's house? I want to see grandma. Your grandma's dead and no one fucking cares. Number three was the girl beside me who forgot to call her handler. Her mama, her boyfriend, her pimp, whoever the fuck it was. She proceeded to have to tell them over and over, I'm at the movies, I'm at the movies. You know what you do next time? You call the motherfucker, you cut your goddamn phone off, and you watch the movie! Number two was a conversation by the parents behind me who were arguing over who was going to miss part of the movie to take the kids to the bathroom. You know what? I've already missed part of the movie, so why don't you let them just shit themselves? What do I care? The smell will just add to my experience. And number one, the absolute dumbest thing uttered by anyone around me during this whole miserable experience was one of the girls in front of me on the date with the boys who said about 30 minutes into the movie, what is this movie about? Are you fucking kidding me? First of all, do you not have eyes? There are dinosaurs on the screen, and there are people running from dinosaurs. That should be your first clue. Second of all was the marquee inside and outside with big letters that said Jurassic 
world. Third is the nonstop advertising this movie has done for the last 30 days. Do you not own a television or watch anything on the internet? You stupid fucking bitch. Anyway, what I did see of the movie I enjoyed, and I suggest that you go check it out this weekend too. This has been Zanax of the Web. Have a great day.